I'm lost. Um, I left this morning uh, at 8.30 because there was a lot of rain and thunder before so I couldn't leave earlier. Uh, it's about 35 miles to go from Green Trail Cay to um, the Eastern Lemon Cay. I'm just about like two miles um, away from Mirama and it's kind of tricky because um, there's a lot of fishing nets in the water so I have to I have to look out for them so I have something to do. Um, the journey is probably going to take about seven hours and I'm just down one hour right now and um, there's going to be a big, um, big reef in the middle. It's to be Lamos Reef, so that's going to be the next thing that I have to that I have to focus on. There's there's no wind. There's quite a lot of swell, but um, the weather's looking not too bad. I'm still a little bit afraid of um, of a squall coming because of that wind we had the other day, but um, right now, right now I think it's okay. The only thing that's really annoying is the engine. It's just below 90 now, so it seems to be recuperating a little bit. It's another, it's another three hours and 15 minutes to to reach uh, my waypoint just outside of Chichimé. Um, it's getting kind of late because now I can't go very fast, but um, I have friends in San Blas who know that I'm on the way, and um, in case I arrive really late and it's getting dark, they're gonna come with a dinghy and um, help me go to the island. After 11 hours at sea with this overheating problem, I'm in the San Blas Islands in Kunayala. And uh, what can I say? It's it's amazing. It's beautiful. There's like palm tree islands everywhere, like tiny ones with really beautiful white sand, and the water's really clear. It's just picture perfect, and you know it's everything you can wish for. It's really paradise. Um, well, I got the I I could. I put the throttle down a little bit to get in control of the overheating problem and it did work out until maybe one hour before reaching the, um, the Western Lemon Keys, which, Keys, which was uh, my final destination in San Blas. In the end the temperature went up again but I was lucky because there was a little bit of uh, wind so I could actually sail the last bit into the San Blas Islands. Uh, which was also a little bit tricky because there's lots of reefs, there's lots of islands, it's kind of tricky to have an orientation and uh, yeah it was it was interesting to, to do it solo and um, I think I learned a little bit about prioritizing things on when you sail and you know navigate at the same time and so so that, that was a really good learning and um, 
Actually, there's uh, some friends of mine in, in the in the lemon case uh, from the Trimaran that I got that I know from uh, Puerto Lindo. And uh, when I arrived, uh, Mathieu came with the dinghy to to come on board on the boat so he can help me with the reefs going into into the anchorage because it's kind of tricky. Uh, Michelle and Emmanuel, they're so nice. They had uh, bought some lobster and some crabs and they made a big dinner with self-made mayonnaise and it was delicious and it was so great because I was super tired and I really didn't want to cook. And they just invited me on board and it was awesome. It was just a really beautiful, perfect night and I had a lot of fun. I was very glad not to be by myself arriving there. And the next day it was uh, time to move again because uh, I was going to go parallel with the Trimaran to another set of islands which is called Coco Bandero. And um, it's about 15 miles from, from the Lemons case. And it was a beautiful sail. Um, Mathieu went with me, so it was super easy. And Carl was behaving very, very well. We were sailing at five knots, sometimes 5.5. And um, it was just beautiful to have the full sails with the wind. And you could feel the waves like going along the side of the boat and seeing all these beautiful coconut islands uh, pass by. and, and it was just nice not to have any problems on the boat and just to sail and just to just to enjoy. And I think the Coco Bandero Islands they're even more beautiful than the Lemon Case. Uh, you anchor really close to three tiny little islands and it's yeah it's I I, I can just repeat it, it's just paradise. Kuna, they come paddling up to your boat and they, they uh, sell you like freshly caught lobster or crabs or uh, pulpo and um, if you ask them they, they even cut you the pulpo, they prepare it for you so you don't have to do it yourself. Well, and I didn't know how to do it, like how to take out the interior so I let them do it once so I can actually learn how to do it myself next time so that was, that was a good learning. So I spent another uh, two nights with the with my friends from the Trimaran and then the next day uh, they were actually leaving. They're planning to cross the Atlantic, so they're leaving, heading towards uh, Cuba. And um, well, now I'm by myself again, and I guess it's gonna be time for a little bit of uh, solo cruising in the Samblas and get to know Carl a little bit better. But more about that next week.